Hey guys, today I'm here to share with you all about my first trimester. This is my third pregnancy. I have Jane who just turned three. I have Jackson who is gonna be nine months soon and now I'm pregnant again. Currently I am 14 weeks and two days so I am finally out of the first trimester. I'm not really sure. I feel like everyone says the first trimester is 12 weeks, but I'm pretty sure it's 13 or 14 weeks. I wanted to start out by explaining the video a little bit more that went up before this, which was my first appointment video. The baby was measuring six days small or smaller than what I expected my due date to be according to my last cycle. So I had to go back at eight weeks and I didn't film that appointment because I had the kids with me. I had Jane and Jackson with me and it was really, really hectic. But basically <laughs> we just had another ultrasound and she measured the baby again. And that time, I don't know what my doctor was doing. Um, she said she couldn't find the rump very well, which is basically the baby's <laughs> bottom because they don't measure from the head to the feet that early they just measure from the head to the bottom because they're like curled up kind of like that anyways i thought that i was like eight weeks and six days or something like that according to my last cycle she measured the baby once and it was like eight weeks four days eight weeks two days eight weeks six days so it was like all over the place and crazy so she basically just told me that we were just gonna make my due date july 10th i don't know where she got july 10th from I thought my due date was going to be July 9th, so I'm okay with July 10th instead of July 15th, which is what she wanted to do at that first appointment that you guys saw. So I don't know. This has never happened to me before. Jane and Jackson were both the exact amount of dates that I thought, or amount of weeks that I thought they were when I went in for my first appointment. So I'm not really even sure what happened there. The main reason why my doctor wanted to nail down a due date is because she definitely wants to possibly, definitely possibly that kind of counteracts each other, but induce me at 39 weeks because I was induced with Jane, I was induced with Jackson, and this last time with Jackson, I was induced and he came in four hours. So she's worried that if I go into labor on my own, it's gonna be quick. So especially because this pregnancy is so close to the last pregnancy as well. So she just wanted to get that due date correct so that we can induce me at the right time. We don't want to induce me too early or wait too late and then I go into labor on my own. Obviously there's a possibility of me going to labor on my own anyways. So that's basically how we got my due date. I don't know, but my due date's July 10th and that's what we're sticking with. I'm curious to see the next time I have an ultrasound, which I'm pretty sure is probably gonna be the anatomy scan at 20 weeks, what the baby is measuring then. I don't want this video to be super long, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I think what I'm gonna be doing for these updates is basically just answer the questions that I have online for weekly yeah. pregnancy updates. I'm probably not going to do weekly updates though. I did weekly updates when I was pregnant with Jane on my blog, if you guys wanna check out my blog, it's in the link um, in the description below. And then I did weekly updates with Jackson here on YouTube, so you guys can look at that as well but with us doing daily vlogs a ton of other other videos that i want to do weekly updates is probably going to be too much so i'm probably going to either do every other week or every three weeks or if anything major happens then i'll do an update as well and so i'm just going to go through these questions and then if i have anything extra about the week then i'll explain that as well also i was going to do a q and a which i still might do but if you guys ever have any questions, just leave it in the comments below and I will answer it in the next update. I do have a few questions from some of my subscribers from the last time I asked, and so I'll be answering those as well. Okay, so I am 14 weeks and two days, and this update is gonna be basically what happened through the entire first trimester, and then after that, all the updates will just be those two weeks or three weeks, however long it's been since my last update. So the first question is total weight gain. Right now I am at zero pounds, which I'm definitely okay with. I didn't lose all of the baby weight with Jackson's pregnancy. I was still 10 pounds for my pre-pregnancy weight when I got pregnant with this third baby. Funny thing is I was the exact same weight when I got pregnant with Jane than when I got pregnant with Jackson. 
exact same. Uh -oh. And I pretty much gained the exact same amount as well with both pregnancies. So I'm curious to see what happens this time with me being 10 pounds heavier <laughs> at the start. I wonder if I'll gain the same amount or not. So I'm okay with zero pounds right now. Maternity clothes. Yes and no. I definitely have a belly, which I'll show you guys at the end of this video. Um, and I definitely brought most of my maternity clothes out already, but I can also still squeeze into some non-maternity clothes, some non-maternity shirts, and some pants. Mainly, look at her face. <laughs> Mainly I've just been wearing pajama pants all the time, and then if we have to go out, I'll put on maternity pants or maternity leggings. Other um, stretchy pants I can wear still, because I'm not huge yet, but yes, Definitely maternity clothes. Stretch marks. No, I don't have any stretch marks yet. I didn't get any stretch marks with Jane or Jackson's pregnancy, so I'm hoping that I won't get any stretch marks this time either, but being 10 pounds heavier um, at the start of the pregnancy kind of worries me a little bit. <clears throat> I don't know if that has anything to do with how big my belly will get or anything, but we will see. Uh, sleep. Sleep has been good. I've gotten great sleep. I've been exhausted. I know if you guys watch my daily vlogs, you know that I try to take a nap almost every day. Now that I'm 14 weeks, I feel like I'm kind of getting my energy back, but not so much. And I was thinking last night in the shower that I was like, I'm 14 weeks. Why don't I have my energy back? I felt like with the last two pregnancies, I was up and out and I had my energy back. But then I was thinking, oh wait, I have a three-year-old and a nine-month-old, so I'm probably just tired. It probably has nothing to do with the first trimester anymore because I definitely do feel better than I did the past few weeks when I was in the first trimester, but I'm still tired. So I'm pretty sure it's just my lifestyle right now. I'm gonna be tired no matter what. I'm tired too. Yeah, Jane's tired too. But sleep is great. I, I take good naps. I, I sleep good at night. Best moment of this week. I'm just gonna go say best moment of the first trimester was probably hearing the baby's heartbeat for the first time or even seeing the baby on the ultrasound for the first Ooh, time, which you guys that. saw in the video. It's just awesome to see that. It's crazy to know that I'm growing another baby and that another baby's gonna be here. And it's just been fun telling our family. So many good things happened in the first trimester, even though it was definitely miserable at times with being sick and tired and all that. Do I miss anything? Yeah, I miss basically my energy. I miss being able to um, get things done around the house when I want to. A lot of the times during this first trimester, it's like I really want to get stuff done, but I'm so tired, like I can't even stand up. Stand up. So I kind of miss that. I definitely miss my turkey sandwiches. If you guys know me, I love turkey subs. <laughs> I don't eat that healthy, so a turkey sub is pretty healthy for me. And you can't eat deli meat when you're pregnant. So um, a lot of times I'll still go to Subway and get my sandwich toasted and um, kind of eat that. But it's not the same as like a nice cold sub if you guys know what I mean. So I definitely missed that too. Movement. No movement yet. I am 14 weeks and I think I felt Jane, I want to say at 18 weeks or maybe earlier and maybe Jackson like a few weeks earlier than that, like 16 weeks. So any week now I might be feeling the baby move, which is awesome. Anything making you queasy or sick? So let's just talk about my symptoms in general for the first trimester. Basically, being tired, that was the number one thing. Definitely, for sure, just exhausted. Right at six weeks, I started feeling nauseous, and it wasn't too bad. It was basically just on and off. If I did get nauseous, I would just have to lay down and rest a little bit. It would go away. It seemed like a few days would go by where I wouldn't be nauseous at all, and then all of a sudden, another day, I would just be nauseous on and off all day long. I definitely, definitely had the thing where if you don't eat, if you have an empty stomach, you're nauseous. And the problem with that is that when you're home without your significant other and all of a sudden you get nauseous and you know it's because you're hungry, you have to get yourself up and make yourself something to eat while you're nauseous, which is very difficult. And, and it's very difficult when you have two other kids that are running around too. I think that's it as far as symptoms. Have you started to show yet? Yes, and I will show you guys my belly. Gender. We don't know, but actually, I took an early blood test. 
so we should be finding out any day now. If you guys have been following me for a while, with Jackson's pregnancy, um, we got the blood test done to test for um, certain genetic disorders like um, Down syndrome and Turner syndrome and a few other things, trisomy something. And it came back that I had a one in 300 chance or one in 169 or something of Jackson having Down syndrome. And for example, with Jane, it was a one in like 10,000 or something like that. I had to go get an ultrasound no, to test it, or to look for Down no, syndrome I traits. I had to get another blood test done that okay. tests further for the Down syndrome and some other things as well. It came back that he did not have Down syndrome. And so this time I opted out of that first blood test and I decided to just go for the second blood test. Um, I think it's called Informasec, and I think most of the time if you've already had a baby with genetic disorders or um, if you're over the age of 35 or over the age of 40 or something, you automatically get that blood test instead because your chances of having a child with genetic disorders is higher. But since I don't fit that category, I just asked if I could get that done and they said yes. So I actually had the test done two weeks ago and so I'm waiting for the test results to come back. That test is so in depth that it can tell you whether you're having a boy or a girl. So we're really excited about that. I'm nervous about the genetic part just because of what happened last time, but I'm excited to find out if it's a boy or a girl. So we're actually gonna find out any day, any minute, and we can't wait to share that news with you guys. Labor signs, no, thank goodness. Belly button in or out, belly button is in, but it did pop out with Jane and Jackson's pregnancy. Wedding rings on or off, they are on right now, but I did have to take them off with both Jane and Jackson's pregnancies, so I'll probably end up having to take them off. Happy or moody most of the time? I would probably say in the first trimester, definitely moody. Not too bad, but whenever I don't feel good, I'm definitely in a bad mood. So just the fact that I was like queasy on and off and just tired all the time kind of made me in a not so good mood. But I tried to be happy as much as I could, especially for my kids. And I'm excited that I'm pregnant. I'm happy that I'm pregnant. So kind of both maybe. And then the last question is, what are you looking forward to? Definitely looking forward to that call from my doctor to find out if the baby's doing okay and also to find out if it's a boy or a girl and then share the news with you guys. Okay, so this video is getting super long, so I'm gonna go ahead and answer just a few questions that you guys have had past that I have here, and then we will go ahead and show you the belly and end the video. Caitlin2549 asked, I thought y'all wanted to adopt a baby. Hope that didn't sound rude. <laughs> Um, no, that didn't sound rude at all. Yes, we definitely considered adopting and we talked about that I think in another Q&A video or something, but long story short, I do not like being pregnant, especially with what happened with Jackson's pregnancy last time and just the whole pregnancy thing is just not for me. I know some women love to be pregnant. It's just a wonderful thing for them. It's not for me. We originally said we wanted three kids before we even had kids. Chris has three kids on his side. I have three kids on my side of the family. So we just thought three was a good number. Then after we had Jackson, we were like, well, we have one boy and one girl. Should we be done? And we just didn't know. And so we said, you know, if maybe we'll just wait, maybe when Jackson's like four or five, we can reconsider. But I just didn't feel like I wanted to be pregnant again. So we did talk about adoption and also just a few times we've been at church, they've talked about adoption and it was definitely something on our minds, but that is such a huge, huge, huge decision. And I'm not sure, you know, we'd have to just see and pray if we were the right people to adopt. But now that I'm pregnant and we're having a third child, it's probably off the table just because we wanted three and we're ha gonna have three and that's probably gonna be it for us. Maybe, who knows, I'm not gonna say yes or no, but maybe down the road we decide we wanted to, I don't know, so I'm not gonna say no and I'm not gonna say we're definitely done having kids, but for right now, we're done. Natasha Briz asked, hello, can you tell me how your body is feeling after getting pregnant so soon after Jackson? I wonder because I also wanna get pregnant soon. My daughter's seven months old. Thanks in advance. That is a good question. My grandmother, actually, my mom's mom, kind of had kids the same exact 
age apart as I'm having. And um, she did mention when I told her that I was pregnant that it might be bad on your body. You know, like you, that's probably the worst part right now is like my body only had four months off from being pregnant with Jackson. There was only four months and then I got pregnant again. So I think right now the biggest difference is just that I never lost all the baby weight with Jackson. So I am 10 pounds heavier at the start which is fine with me, but I don't know how that's gonna play out towards the end of the pregnancy either. And I don't know how any of this is gonna play out towards the end of the pregnancy. Like, I don't know how my body's gonna heal this time. I don't know, but right now, I don't notice anything different besides that. And those are all the questions that I've gotten so far, and now my battery light is flashing. So I'm gonna go ahead and end this video. I'm gonna show you guys my belly first. Okay, so here is my 14 week belly it's pretty big i think um can't really tell from the front kind of in that phase where it's like oh did she eat too many donuts i'm standing on my tiptoes here it is I know. <laughs> okay guys so that is it for my first trimester video sorry it was so long hopefully it won't be so long in the next updates because it won't be whole 14 weeks to update you guys on but i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up and we'll see you guys next time bye